things that made me gain weight instead of lose as a former fatty that might surprise you. Number one, smoothies. There's been like a smoothie revolution in America, maybe also in Europe and abroad, but I'm telling you, smoothies make me gain weight. They make my clients gain weight. They make everyone gain weight. It's really bizarre, unless you're just eating smoothies and nothing else. There's something about the concentration of fruit and nut butters and things that people put in smoothies that can really help you to gain weight. Smoothies are a great meal replacement if you're on the go, but folks, you've got to be careful because there's a lot of sugar that's going to spike your blood sugar and help you to keep the weight on. Number two, over-exercising. If you try to outrun your fork and you exercise way too much, you're lifting really heavy weights and eating tons of protein, thinking you're going to lose weight doing that, I tried it. It didn't work. I gained a lot of weight and a lot of muscle and I literally looked like Hulk not an appealing picture don't want you guys to have to look at that but just saying it was not a good look for me and it wasn't a good feeling for me because I felt really heavy and sick number three one meal a day a lot of people I know a lot of clients I have are basically drinking coffee until 4 or 5 p.m. and they're wondering why they're crashing all day and why they're exhausted and why they can't sleep it's a vicious cycle a lot of people are also feeling really guilty and so they just wait until the evening because they're busy all day and they need that energy so they say <laughs> to, you know, do their work and then they don't get to eat until 8 p.m. and they eat way too much. It really harms your metabolism. It slows down your weight loss goals. And the intermittent fasting thing does talk about one meal a day. If you're doing like a, a longer period, maybe 18 hours, and there could be some benefit to that short term. We could talk about that on another video. But eating one meal a day surprisingly helps you to keep the weight on. I can't tell you the hundreds of women that we've spoken to who are desperate to lose weight, who are plateauing, who are trying everything. But guess what? They're eating one meal a day and they can't lose the weight. So we know for a fact it doesn't work. Number four, yo-yo dieting. It not only harms your metabolism, but not only did I lose weight and then gain it back, I lost weight and gained more weight back. It was not a good cycle and it just kept going and going and going. And then when I decided to stop dieting, it was harder to lose weight because of all the harm I did to my metabolism. Number five, the keto mindset. I've got nothing against keto. Well, maybe I do. But if you're on keto, if you're doing yo-yo dieting, if you're doing this diet or that diet, it's the mindset of the diet culture that honestly puts the weight on you long-term. I can't tell you how many years I have been dieting that I harmed my metabolism, that helped me to gain more weight and harmed my ability to lose weight. It also harmed my body's metabolism, right? So I couldn't burn calories. I was storing fat. I, my blood glucose was out of control. Yo-yo dieting and keto mindset is just more of it an extreme. And these extremes are what got us into this problem in the first place. Until and unless we get to the root of why the weight came on in the first place, we're not going to be able to solve the weight issue long term. I just have to give it to you straight because that's the truth. And I can say that from my own personal experience. I can say that from the mother that I lost at age 59 with severe obesity on her death certificate, who yo-yo dieted her whole life. And I can say that now with confidence, now that Penelope has lost over 140 pounds. If you're interested in learning more, be sure to click the link in the description. And remember to comment below about ways in which you have lost weight, because I want to hear about the ways you've been successful and perhaps even what you're committed to. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.